Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to do another bi-weekly makeup bag. I'm ready to switch some stuff out. I hope you guys can't hear so much of the sound. And also if you see my band-aid, it's because I almost ripped my entire nail off and it's in pain. So anyways, let's kind of go through everything. First thing is the Star Wars Mandalorian palette by ColourPop. This um, is in my Pandos eyeshadows. Actually this shade is no progress on it at all, but I am gonna keep it in here. I think I might end up adding in more eyeshadow palettes if I roll them in when I film pan those eyeshadows, but I'm not sure what I'll end up getting. But whenever I change that up, I will change my makeup bag, but I'm going to keep that in for now. Same with my Huda Beauty Gold palette. I have really good progress on this shade, but I'm gonna keep it in. I haven't been wearing I haven't been wearing makeup a ton. So I feel like I didn't get a ton of use out of this bag, but I still want to switch it up. So this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer was in like my rotating project pan, but I do want to end up taking it out because I just realized that I don't love this shade on me in the winter and I'm just not enjoying it. So I'm just going to switch it out. The Bite Beauty powder is in my project pan, so I'm going to keep that. Um, I brought in the M Cosmetics Daydream Cushion. I originally had the... Um, ColourPop Pretty Fresh, but this one was new, so I wanted to try it out. Um, I kind of want to keep this in because it's a nice light shade for me, and I'm really enjoying it. So I think I'm going to keep this in another two weeks just because I'm loving using this. And it might as well while I'm pale. I also have the Hourglass powder in my project pan. This is going super well. I think I'll need to order a powder soon because it's almost out. This Becca primer is my project pan really good progress on that which you'll see in my video the oh sorry i meant to move this to the other side for stuff i'm replacing um the fenty cream bronzer is in my rotating project pan sorry there's a shadow on this side but i'm gonna keep this in really enjoying using it my hourglass blush in sublime flush i didn't use this a ton but i am ready to switch that out um my vesca beauty highlighter i've been loving and I probably should switch it out for my other powder highlight, even though I really don't want to. But, um, no, I think I'm just going to keep it in. I just want to keep using it, so might as well. Um, my Nude Sticks Bareback is in my rotating project pan, and I'm liking using that. My Rare Beauty highlighter is really my only cream highlight, so I'm going to keep it in. Oops. Actually, yeah. I don't know when my Glow by Oryx stuff will come in, but obviously that will be in my makeup bag. But for now, I'm going to keep that in. Going to switch out my Rare Beauty Concealer, even though I don't want to, but I've only been using this and I probably should switch it up. Going to keep in my mascara, my eye primer, my eyeliner. Um, yeah, I think just these, oh, and this little e.l.f. palette. I'm trying to hit pan on this shade, but I'm going to keep all of those in there. My Chantecaille Cheetah shade is in my pan, those eyeshadows. Sorry, these lights are so bright. But I'm going to keep this in here. But I think I'm going to rotate this out pretty soon just because I have been getting good use out of that. Um, I'm going to switch out my brow product. I'm going to keep in these three lip products because they're in my project pan even though I haven't been using them a ton. Um, I've been using the Kosas one a good bit but this Fenty one I hate the smell on so I'm going to rotate out the Glossier Cloud Paint and I'm going to rotate out my M Cosmetics cushion even though I want to keep it in I just need to use other things. I'm going to keep my Glossier Gloss in. I'm going to add that into my project pan. Um, my Charlotte Tilbury under eye corrector, I'm going to rotate out and if I want to use it, I'll just reach for it, but I only use this on days when I'm not wearing makeup, if that makes sense. My makeup bag is so gross at the bottom, just ignore that. Um, I'm going to take out both of my Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize. I brought these in just because the launch, like leading up to Auric, it made me really want to use these again, so I use them each like twice. I do want to eventually like use these up or get really good progress on them. Um, I have a good usage on Rose Gold, but Oyster Pearl I haven't used as much. But I am going to rotate them out again when Oryx stuff gets here. They're all going to go in my makeup bag, but for now I want to rotate in other singles. And then this Rare Beauty eyeshadow I still haven't used. Um, 
but it is a pretty color. So I, I'll keep it in, but honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it a ton. So I'm keeping a lot of stuff because a lot of it's in my project pan. Um, so we have to pick new blushes, powder and cream, a new powder bronzer, brow products, concealer, single. So not a ton of stuff to pick, but maybe when I go to my drawers, I will find a few things that I do want to switch out. I'm also keeping in these two palettes. This is my Natasha Denona Glam. It's in my um, Panless Eyeshadows and as well as Natasha Denona Tropic. So, not a ton to rotate through this week, but I do want to bring in some new stuff. I don't know if this is a great angle for you guys to see, but this is all the stuff I need to put back. Let's see if I can do it like this. You're just going to have to ignore... The floor is not messy, it's just how the floor is. Like, it's an old dorm, but... This is my blanket, so you guys don't have to see my bare legs, but, um, okay, so in the foundation drawer, I don't think I need anything from here, but I am going to switch out the concealer. Okay, sorry, but again, I do want to switch out the concealer. I think I'm going to use my Kosas one. I haven't used this one a ton, so I'm going to use that. I think it should be light enough for me right now. Um, the other stuff in here, I have a bunch of samples, but I'm saving these two for my Auric review so I can kind of show you the difference in textures. Um, and I don't want to use any more primers until I finish my Becca one. So I really do want to use the Bobbi Brown one to see if I do like this product, but I need to finish the one in my project pan first. So I think that'll be it from this drawer. I do want to use a spray more. So... I'm going to set this one out on like my little makeup organizer right here, but I'm not going to put it in my makeup bag, but I do want to use that one a bit more, so I think this drawer is good. Um, so I'm going to put back my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, and I really want to use my Hourglass bronzer in Nude Bronze Light. I just think it's probably the only one that's going to match me this winter, and so I want to use this. I'll track... Eh, I probably won't track my usage on this. I'm just going to keep it in because... It's a bronzer, bronzer that matches me, so I'm going to do that. I don't need a cream bronzer. Um, I actually think I am going to switch out my Vesca highlight. Um, I'm going to put back my Vesca highlighter on second thought and actually take in my Charlotte Tilbury highlighter just so I can rotate through these and get equal progress on both. Um, let's see. For powder blush, I'm putting back this hourglass one, and cream, I'm putting back Storm. Um, I'm going to bring in M Cosmetics Little Lilac. I've been wanting to use that one. And for powder, I thought I had... Oh, I must have accidentally put Warm Honey back, but I have that in my makeup rotation as well. Um, I think I want to bring in She's So LA from Patrick Ta. I, I want to use the cream on this as well, but... I really want to use that. I want to get a powder blush that is more neutral, but I think I'm going to bring in this one and my Hourglass at night. These are like two of my favorite tones to just go with everything. So I have these three and I also have the one in my project pan, but the one in my project pan I just kind of use as a base and then I use any cream on top. So I think these will be good options for me. So that's going to be it for this drawer. I have no idea how well you can see this drawer and also you can see my blanket, but putting these two back. And I really want to bring in Victoria Beckham Honey. I've been wanting to use that for a while. And as far as like my little eyeshadow palettes go, I kind of have everything that I need for an everyday basis. Yeah, I don't think I need any of my smaller palettes because I can use my bigger ones. Um, let's see, the three palettes that I'm considering bringing in to use in conjunction to my Pamela's eyeshadows are these three. The At Forest site I really want to get more use out of, and it's more colorful, but I think I'm going to not bring this in because I have the greens and my Baby Yoda palette that I can use. And then I have Natasha Denona Love, which is just a lot of good pinky colors, and I also have my Pat McGrath Divine Rose 1. So I think I am going to bring this Pat McGrath one in just because I feel like I haven't used that one enough. So there's that. I'm also going to put back my brow product. And I'm going to bring in my Nude Sticks one. I also want to bring in my M Cosmetics liner because I need to use that more. But 
I think that's all of the makeup that I need to bring in. I have lip products right here. And I'm going to put the M Cosmetics one back. I mean, if I need any of these, I'll just pull for them. But I just want to use the ones that I have in there for the most part. And if I need anything here, I can easily pull for it. So I think that's going to be it. Now let's go and fill the makeup basket. Okay, so here is my makeup basket. It isn't super full. I mean, I have a lot of different options, but I think like I've been more okay doing the same kind of thing every day. So I'm gonna end up putting these two on top and then these three palettes will sit on the side as well as my spray. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a playlist linked down below if you wanna see more of these videos. I have a whole playlist of every single one that I've ever done. So be sure to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.